Parts of the wall had fallen down. A helmet on a pole? Always useful. I just hope this works. Are you ready? Can't wait. Go! Oh no. I'd made it without getting shot, but I sure didn't feel lucky. Somehow, I had to distract the shooter again, and this time, I was on my own. With a ghost from the past giving me an evil stare. Uh. Hmm. Uh. The tree was way too sturdy for me to shake any apples down. Uh-oh! The apples were bruised. Uh. Go on, eat this boy. The goat couldn't reach the apple pile. Go on, eat this boy. The goat couldn't reach the apple pile. Now then, old fella, you don't mind if I move your tire, do ya? Oh boy, you're gonna love this. I distracted the goat, but it wouldn't take him long to eat that apple. The goat now had a whole pile of apples to tuck into. I tossed him my last apple.
I wasn't going to frighten the shooter with his own reflection. Hey, what? Whoa! I blinded the shooter, time to make a dash for it. Don't think I can't see you, Sid. So much as move an inch, I shall shoot you. It was a wind chime made out of old cans. Senor, please, whoever you are, hold your fire. I'm not armed. Good. That makes it easier for me to shoot you. My name is George Stobart. I'm a friend. I have no friends. Well, that doesn't surprise me. All we want is a quick look inside the castell. I don't believe you. You are here to kill Senor Marquez. Senor Marquez? He's alive? What? Well, he'll vouch for us. You don't fool me like that. Get out of here before I kill you. Senor Marquez knows me, I swear. And I know a lie when I hear one. Go now, or I shoot. Wait, I have important information. Buste, vingue a mi. Do you understand what I am saying? Try saying it, and let's see. Ah, well, uh, I'm George Stobart, and I come in peace. Do you mind putting that down? I've had a really bad day. Guns don't agree with you? Uh, no, and neither do goats. I've got bruises in places that, well, you know, places. So leave. We're here looking for something. Well, go look for it somewhere else. We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where she inherited her temperament. Your father? Well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. I have your father's medallion. So you're a thief too, huh? We track down his painting, La Maledictio. Look. Where did you get this? In London. Hmm. All right. You better come with me, but no funny business, okay? You know, you sound just like my friend Nico. Nico! What's going on, Ramon? Who's out there? Some crazy American. Don't worry. Eva will deal with him. Papa. These people want to talk to you. Eva, I thought we agreed to shoot intruders on sight. You? How did you find me? It wasn't easy, senor. We thought you were dead. You were wrong. They've brought you something, Papa. Can it be? At last, la malediction. Well, Signor Marquez, looks like la malediction hangs in its right place again. Indeed. I have waited all my life for this. But something interesting? 
painting. It is different. The face in the middle. The one with the symbol of the tabula veritatis on it? How do you know about the tabula? A priest told me. Said it was the devil's work. Pa! Priests! Full of lies, every one of them. Oh, really? Well, this priest said that the tabula was an instrument to raise the devil. Fool! Who would want to raise the devil? But you do want to find the tabula. Yes, because it is a Gnostic treasure. It is special. And my duty is to keep it safe. I was sure that Marquez still wasn't telling me the whole truth. And now? I shall decipher the painting and find the tabula. Before she died, my mother said that once the painting hung here again, its meaning would become clear, and the route to the tabula would be revealed. So, what's the answer? Where's the tabula? I don't know. The room has changed. Was there something different about the room back then? No. Yes. I don't know. You must help me. Well, how? I, I'm not a Gnostic. Senor, you must. Because soon, the Russian will be here. He knows about Castel del Sanz? I regret, senor, that in Paris, I told his sidekick a little too much. Ah, well, I guess we'd better figure this out. And fast. I'll go and keep watch. Shoot on sight, remember. Well, Nico, what now? You try and work out just why the painting has to be in this room. I'll go and see if Eva knows anything. Whether he knew it or not, I was sure Marquez had the answers. Senor Marquez? Mr. Stobart? If we're going to find the tabula... Yes? Then you will have to help. Of course. I mean, by being totally honest with us. When have I not been honest? So, Eva is your daughter? She was a gift from God, late in my life. One day she will find room for Gnosticism in her heart. I am sure of it. Tell me about the painting. When I was a child, I would stand here for hours, just staring at it. Who was the mysterious painter, El Serp, the serpent? And what did it mean, La Malediction, the curse? I asked my father, but he just told me to be patient. He said that one day I would know everything. What happened back in Paris? We thought you were dead. A man came to the apartment looking for Miss Collard. He mentioned a stolen painting owned by a Russian. Obviously, I informed him that I was the true owner. Obviously. Next thing I knew, this thug had me pinned to a chair and was threatening to shoot me. So I told him of the castell. And while he telephoned his boss, I hit him with a little china dog. Guess he didn't know you were the pugnacious type. Senor, can you decipher any of the painting? The Tower of Saints, of course. I knew it was a castell. And the saints themselves are Gnostic. You see the woman in red? The one you marked in the photo? She is Mary Magdalene. We revere her as Christ's greatest disciple. The rest, I don't know. The symbol on the face, it is obviously the tabula. But the elements around it, I don't know. When were you last here, Signor? Not since that day when my father was killed. So why did the painting bring us here? As I said, because only here, in this room, will its clues become clear. 
Why is the Tabula Veritatis so important to the Gnostics? It is an object of immense power. My ancestors kept it safe for hundreds of years. They brought it to Catalonia as exiles long ago. In any generation, only one Gnostic knows its exact location. My father, Xavier, was the last of these. He knew dark forces were gathering, but I was too young to learn the secret. So he commissioned La Maledicción, embedding clues to the location of the tabula within the painting. But what is the tabula? What does it do? I do not know. I know only that in the wrong hands it would be catastrophic for mankind. Why would a Dominican priest, Father Simeon, describe the Gnostics as evil? That order was founded specifically to fight heresy and to eradicate Gnosticism. Behind their backs, the Dominicans were nicknamed the Dominicanes, or Hounds of God. For years, these dogs hunted down and butchered my people. They called us heretics, but in truth, they sought to find and seize the tabula. I think this is yours. My medallion? Where did you find it? It was left in Nico's neighbor's apartment. Do you want it back? No, you keep it for now. It has a meaning, a purpose. Perhaps you can find out what. Sure, just let me know if you ever want it back. Is this one of Nico's photographs of the robbery? Yes, she gave it to me. And did you write these notes on it? Yes, I was trying to solve part of the painting. Solve? I never knew what lay in that portion of La Maledicción. The photograph you have of my family, this part of the painting was missing. But once I saw the Tower of Saints, I knew I had to come here, just as you did, senor. You want this bunch of flowers? No. Take a look at this sketch. It is the face in La Maledicción. It was drawn by the man who restored the painting. Then he knew of the Tabula Veritatis. What other secrets did he uncover? I don't know, but he's dead now. Just as well. The fewer that know the secrets of La Maledicción, the better. So this is you with your mother and father? Indeed. Taken in this very building many years ago. You shall get back to it. Senor, a word, please? Of course. Okay, so... Just uh, not uh, with me. Ramon sure was a little light in the charm department. Marquez said that the painting contained clues only a Gnostic could solve. But when it was back in this room, all would become clear. That wouldn't make any sense. The photo was of the Marquez family. Finally, La Maledicción was back in its rightful place. On the fireplace behind them were two identical statues. 
On the fireplace behind them were two identical statues. La Maledizio, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? The plinths looked like they could be rotated. The painting held all the answers. The Tower of Saints had led us to the castell. I wondered where the other clues would take us. It was a tower of tormented souls. They looked like the damned. The priest appeared to have a padlock through his mouth. He was pointing down to the ring below him. There was a tower within the ring. Maybe it indicated a place? A scarred face stared back at me from within the Ouroboros. Hobbes must have uncovered the image when he was restoring the painting. But what did it mean? And what was its link to the Tabula Veritatis? It was the figure of a priest, but with a dog's head. The figure was pointing up at a ring above him. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. It was a castle of saints, Castel de Saints, in Catalonia. A scarred face stared back at me from within the Ouroboros. Within the ring, there were a number of houses. It was a village or a small town. Inside the ring was a castle gate. I had no idea what it signified. The bearded figure was similar to the one on the fireplace in the hall. I wondered if there was a connection. The orb in the old man's hand glowed with a green light. The figure of the young man was just like the one on the front of the fireplace. It couldn't be a coincidence. The youthful figure held a glowing blue orb in his hand. There was a piece of stone on the wall. It looked like a discarded statue. The door was locked. It looked like this part of the castell had taken some damage. The end of the passage was blocked off with rubble. It was a shield on which heraldic symbols had been painted. The scroll below the shield read Berga. It was a collection of what could only be described as stuff. There was a crate of brandy amongst all the mess. The bookcase held an assortment of ancient books. Senor Marquez? Anything else about the painting I should know? I keep telling you, I don't know. Do you think the Tabula Veritatis was hidden here? Perhaps. Who knows? Nico and I are risking our lives for you. 
You really can't tell us any more? Truly, I do not know. Take a look at this. Did you break this? No, absolutely not. Good. I found this. My father had a collection of those. We must hurry up and figure this out. So, until you came here, you knew nothing about the Castel? Didn't know, wasn't interested. I better get back on guard in case anyone else shows up. Your father needs our help, Piva. My father needs rest, peace and quiet. Not more of this Gnostic nonsense. So, what did you find out? Not a lot. Eva thinks her father's losing it. She doesn't have much time for Gnosticism. She's never been here before. In fact, Marquez never even talked about the place. As far as I can tell, she and her father never got on. She left home the moment she could. Hmm. I don't blame her. So why is she here now? Marquez begged her. Said he was in danger. I guess maybe I'll go inside and have a look around too. Tell me if you find anything. I'm not having much luck so far. Hello, Eva. Senior Stobart. Please, call me George. I'd rather not. When are you and your girlfriend leaving? Actually, she's not my girlfriend. I don't know what your scam is, Senor. You may have fooled my father, but you don't fool me. Well, I can sure see where you get your manners from. What do you know about La Melodic Seal? My father has been obsessed by it all his life. He thinks it's full of secret messages. I think it's a crock of sh- Sure you do. Nico tells me you don't really know about Gnosticism. Don't know, don't care. And I don't need saints and gods telling me how to live my life. I can see why you and your father don't get along. Tell me about Ramon. Apparently he worked here when he was a boy. A loyal servant, even though the family left and never came back. More fool him. Tell me about your father. When my mother died, he brought me up. As a Gnostic? <laughs> he tried to teach me that stuff. Said I had a religious vocation. Turns out I didn't. On my 18th birthday, I left home and never went back. Anything else about the painting you can tell me? My father says it has a special connection with this house. From where I stand, this house is a place of murder and violence. Which is why I want nothing to do with it. Tell me about yourself. I left home as soon as I could, lived a bit. And now I own a bar in Marseille. That explains why you know how to use a gun. No, senor. I learned how to use a gun so I could get rid of vermin. Eva was a real... charmer. So, you don't know anything about Gnostics? They're a religious sect. They belong in the past. My father's obsessed with them, and that's all I know. Here. These are for you. I hate flowers. I should have guessed that. 
Eva, meet Trevor. <laughs> you don't have a problem with him? No, my bar is full of them. The Maledizio, back in its rightful place. But what were the clues? I wondered if the notes could help decrypt La Maledizio. The first passage read, and thus spoke the accused. In this ritual we find succor. Clad in blue, the perfecti take the form of the spiritual and look towards the rising sun, toward the tree of knowledge. Clad in green, the credentes look the other way, towards the setting sun, where stands the tree of life. I wondered what it all meant. The second passage read, And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Hmm. Knowledge is blue and life is green. Well, that was good to know. I wondered what color was the light of man. The third passage read, Pure light, white light, pure light will win. So it was written in the old texts, affirmed by the tabula veritatis. And these were the accused's last words. Interesting. There was more about light, and somehow the tabula veritatis had a connection. Simeon would have known what it all meant, but unfortunately, Simeon was dead. The statues were facing outward, just like in the Marquez photo. I waited with bated breath for something to happen. Nothing. Staircase. I never knew. We must go up. We don't have much time. Stairs. Always stairs. Oh my God, look at this. Jules? Jules? Hmm. What's this? A piece of burnt paper with the word Wolfram. That sounds familiar. Wolfram. I curse that name forever. What do you know about Wolfram, senor? Wolfram. I spit on the name. What is Wolfram? It was a mining company run by a murdering swine called Ganon. In the Civil War, they backed the fascists. In return, Ganon was given soldiers to do his dirty work. They came here, brought their bloody war to this house, and killed Senor Xavier. They shot Xavier? Senor Marquez's father? I was just a boy, but I remember like it was yesterday. Shot him and his friend, Hernandez, like animals. Why did they come here? They were searching for something, but they brought death 
with them. But there is one thing I have never understood. Javier tried to escape through the library. But the library windows are barred. It is a dead end. This Kenan, who was he? He was Swiss, a businessman and a murdering swine. So what did he want here? I don't know. When he wasn't torturing the locals, he disappeared to the library. Spent weeks in there, making notes and studying maps. His men, they crossed the whole of Catalonia searching for something. Did they find it? Who knows? One day, Ganem just disappeared. He never came back. An accident, perhaps, in the mountains. May his soul rot in hell. The soldiers didn't stay long to search for him. They hated him, too. So you have lived here for a long time? All my life. My father served here before me. In fact, he named me after Senor Xavier's favorite saint. Saint Ramon, patron saint of the falsely accused. That's nice. Not really. The Moors put a padlock through his mouth. Oh, I see. Well, I guess there's a lesson there for all of us. The name Genan was familiar. He was the person who had tried to buy La Malatexio. A coincidence? Perhaps. There is no such thing as coincidence. So, when the soldiers left, you took back the house? Yes. A few years later, I returned and cleaned the place up. It broke my heart. I locked the library. I could not bear to touch Gaiman's papers. Can I have a look at the library? No. I have kept it locked to honor the memory of Senor Xavier. Please, this is important. I lost the key. You lost it? That evening when I locked it up, I drank to the memory of Senor Xavier. The cellars were well stocked, Senora. It was a long night. I hid the key, then forgot where I hid it, so it is lost. That was all that was left in the morning. I haven't touched a drop since. I needed to find out what Ganon had been working on in that library. There was a crate of brandy amongst the mess in the Great Hall. Apparently, Ramon drank them all. Must have been some night. I picked up what looked like an old diary. It was Ramon's. The library will forever be a shrine. No one will enter. I shall hide the key in a safe place, once I've eaten. I have just what I need and know what to do. Oh, beautiful lady, your eyes are so blue. I just can't stop thinking of you. Hmm, Ramon was quite the budding poet. 
Our lives are entwined like ivy on a tree. That is what you mean to me. Nice. Hey, I was reading that. The floor of the car was littered with keys from sardine cans. An old pair of shoes. Another brandy bottle? Ramon really went for it that evening. A 5G71. Extraordinary. Have you no respect for great art? Pretty indigestible, huh? The wind chime looked like it was made from old cans. I wondered if it was Ramon's handiwork. Despite the scrap components, the wind chime was beautiful. It was uncanny. One old sardine can was bulging slightly. I fished around. There was something in it. And there it was, the key to the library. Do you know Eva well? No. I only just met her. Senor Marquez brought her with him. They don't talk much, but she knows how to handle a gun. I found your key. <sighs> I thought it was lost forever. Do you want to be with me when I open the door? No. Some things are better left in the past. And anyway, I must look out for Eva. Ramon had been true to his word. This place was like a shrine. The table had been cleared. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions. At a guess, Genans. I wondered what secrets they might hold. The hat looked battered and old. I wondered if it had belonged to the mysterious Genan. A pair of well-worn boots. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. Georges would be so jealous. So, what is this place, senor? It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the Tabula Veritatis. 
from under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the tabula? The Cathars were Gnostics. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are equal, that God is within you, and that the church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here at Montségur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics, but a handful managed to escape with the tabula. They traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. Sadly, it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secret of the tabula. So, you understand why La Maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, Senor. We need to find out why. It was a large marble statue of an old man with a beard. The statue held aloft a colored glass lens. These statues... What of them? They're just like the figures in the painting. And on the fireplace. Indeed. They are the two pillars of the Gnostic faith in harmony. And the bearded one is Yahweh, Jehovah, God of the physical world. The other is known by many names. Helel, Ishtar. He is the bearer of light, Luxfere, Lucifer. Lucifer? So you guys are devil worshippers? No. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition, driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to advance. Just as Jehovah, when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism. Gnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. But what if one were to rule without the other? If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist, mindlessly dependent, mere pawns of a controlling power. And what if Lucifer ruled without Jehovah? Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. Society would descend into chaos. Disorder and war would prevail. Then, Lucifer would be the devil indeed. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. The fresco deserved a proper examination. 
The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. It was a glass wheel divided into six colors, and it looked like it could be rotated. Part of the lens was covered. It was a glass wheel, just like the one held by the other statue. Part of the lens was covered. I removed the small leather cover to reveal a crude crystal lens. Colored light streamed through and shone onto the fresco. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. The color changed from blue to magenta. The color changed from magenta to red. The color changed from red to yellow. The color changed from yellow to green. Just what this place needed, a bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. Nope, I needed to try something else. Amazing, the light is showing the path, the path of the Bonzon. The what? The sacred trail my ancestors took across the Pyrenees, carrying the Tabula Veritatis, from Montsegur across the mountains to this town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. But its coat of arms is quite distinctive. But how does it bring us closer to the Tabula? It tells us the routes the Tabula took 800 years ago. I think that's all we're going to find up here. You're right. We should return to the hall. Eva will be getting worried. Okay, we found the route of the Bonzom Trail. How does it help us? It must somehow relate to the painting. <coughs> Papa, are you crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here to look after you, so let me do it. Ramon is outside keeping watch. George, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. It's a Gnostic chapel. All laid out for worshipping not one god, but two. What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it.
The scroll under the shield read El Pont de Suez. The scroll below the shield read Trent. The scroll beneath the shield read Figueres. The scroll under the shield read Olot. Have you brought the painting? Ah, uh, no. What are you doing with La Maledizio? Nico found something and asked me to bring the painting. I promised to take care of it. Eva, go with him. Make sure the painting comes to no harm. I should stay with you, Papa. Don't worry about me. La Maledizio is more important. Have you brought the painting? Sure, why do you want it? Because I found out what Ganon was up to. The Ganon who tried to buy the painting from Madovsky? No, Ganon who led the fascists here during the Civil War. Ganon who then spent months here searching for something. And who vanished one day, leaving that trunk full of goodies over there. You think he's connected to the Ganon who wrote the letter to Madovsky? It seems likely that they were related. Hmm, maybe. So, what's the plan you've uncovered? Take a look at this. It's Ganon's map. He was searching for something. Searching for what, exactly? The Tabula Veritatis, I guess. You think he found it? I doubt it. If he had, then people wouldn't still be chasing after the painting. So why did you want me to bring it? See this scribble in the sea? It's the same shape as the circles around the Ouroboros. Yes. Genan thought that pattern in the painting had something to do with a map of Catalonia. So, I guess we try to finish what Genan started. I'd put money on those circles around the Ouroboros being places in Catalonia. But which places? Maybe the painting can give us some more clues. I removed the oilcloth from the chest. I picked up the blanket. There was nothing underneath it. I had no desire to take the old boots. I lifted the hat out of the chest. There was something tucked beneath the shirt. I picked up the folded note. It was a telegram. There was nothing underneath the other shirt. I put everything back in the chest. That would be pointless. <laughs>